All right, the next thing Brian and I are going to talk about here is something that I think a lot of people suffer from, something that I know that I've suffered from for a while, um, is what commonly is called pain under the kneecap, medically, chondromalacia. Um, it's really just that pain that you feel right underneath the kneecap. You can't, you can't access it. You can't put your finger on it and press on it and, and, and find that spot. It's right underneath the kneecap. Most people just say, I've got patellar pain or pain under my kneecap. Medically, it's called chondromalacia, and there's definitely some, some, some things that we can do to try to treat this condition and, and get it out of there as fast as possible. Brian's going to explain. Okay, chondromalacia is uh, it's actually the second stage in, uh, in uh, the patellar problems. Now, you, you'll have what's called uh, patellofemoral pain syndrome, which is just, that's the first sign. Uh, if you were at a movie theater, and uh, you're watching a movie, and after the movie you get up, and your, your knee is really sore, and you almost have to stand there for a second and slowly bend up, and then by the time you get out to your car, you're fine. It's almost like your knee had to warm up. Well, that's called a positive movie sign. That's, that's typically a sign that there's something going on uh, beneath the patella. And as this stage starts to get a little bit worse, uh, you progress into chondromalacia, which is actually a softening of the under the underside of the patella, the articular cartilage on the underside of the patella starts to roughen and uh, starts to present as pain. Now there's a, a couple of ways that you can you can test this. One in particular, like I said, a positive movie sign. If you have trouble after sitting with your knees in one position for an extended period of time and you get up and uh, you have a hard time moving for a few minutes and then everything's fine, you've got a positive movie sign and that's an indication that it's not going to go away. It's going to keep getting worse most likely. So the second test, and this is actually for chondromalacia, is called a Clark sign. And a Clark sign is, uh, well let me explain a little bit what might cause chondromalacia. One of the key factors is what they call a, an alignment problem, okay? Your, your patella, when you flex and extend the knee, actually uh, tracks incorrectly. It should track straight. You've got, you've got your tibial tuberosity, the center of the kneecap, and actually uh, a point up here in the hip where the uh, rectus femoris, the top quad muscle, actually tracks. Now, in a perfect world, you would have uh, the attachment site of this rectus femoris would be right in the center of your knee, which would, should be right in the center of your uh, patella and it should be uh, right in line with the the uh, distal or the proximal attachment of your of your rectus femoris up here so it should be a straight line when it's not a straight line if your tibial tuberosity where it attaches down here is off to the side your kneecap is over here and the other attachment point up here when your quad attaches it will pull your your patella laterally. So it should be a straight line. All right, now, people that have chondromalacia, it's not gonna be a straight line. So there are some, are some alignment issues biomechanically that are important to correct in order to get this, this problem to start to settle down. One of the ways to tell whether you have chondromalacia, the Clark sign, is just by actually fixing the patella, not allowing it to move as you contract the quad in extension. So what you would do is, and, and what you really want to tell the person that you're dealing with that has chondromalacia or you suspect might have chondromalacia is if you feel any discomfort at all when you contract your quad, stop. Don't do it very, very slow. Do it very slowly and stop immediately if you feel any discomfort because you only get one chance at this. If, <laughs> if they contract the quad very fast and they have chondromalacia, they're gonna jump up off the table and you might get punched. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the webbing of my hand at the top of the patella and just press straight down with a little bit of pressure towards the, towards the knee. And I'm gonna ask Jimmy to very, very slowly contract your quad and if you have any pain or discomfort, stop. Okay, now he's contracting the quad and doesn't seem to have any discomfort. What it's actually doing is, as he contracts the quad, it because it can't move uh, upward, 
it actually goes down and tries to submarine underneath my hand and it pushes the articular surface on the bottom of the patella into what are called the femoral condyles, uh, the part of the femur, and it actually hurts. Okay. Now, one of the things that, that we can do is, at, from a massage therapy standpoint, that's unbelievably helpful is correct some of the biomechanical issues that uh, predispose him to having lateral tibial torsion, okay? And his, his knee is twisted that way. So we want to help in any way we can to get that out of there. The other thing we want to do is get the quads as loose as possible, rectus femoris in, in particular, okay? So from a massage standpoint, critically important to get some of these issues addressed. You know, one of the key things for me as I got over, um, you know, the pain that I was feeling um, was to get my IT band to let go. Now, my, my chondromalacia was associated a lot with just the tightness of the IT band pulling the kneecap over a little bit. And so one of the things that we worked with with Don and Brian uh, when I started coming to body mechanics was um, to, get that, to get that IT band to let go and take some of that stress off of the kneecap um, you know, allowing it to track correctly. So again, um, you know, something you might want to ask your massage therapist is to is to get into the IT band a little bit and work that and get up into, you know, different parts of the hip with the TFL and different parts of the glute to get that whole thing to release and help the kneecap track correctly. Yeah, there's so many fascial structures off on the side of the, the knee that will tend to pull things laterally. Very rarely will you see uh, uh, immediately tracking knee. Most of them track laterally. So any any of the fascial tissues that would that would uh, would pull the knee laterally are going to be key figures uh, in in getting you through this condition. Well and the main thing for this too is that if, if you're experiencing this, if you think that you have chondromalacia and it's more than just um, uh, you know the pain that Brian described, just something that you get maybe after sitting for a long time in a car or a movie or an airplane. If you think this is something that's a chronic condition, you have to go see somebody because it's not going to get better with rest and ice. Right. It's it's gonna it's gonna you could rest this thing for a year and ice it for a year and it's still going to be there. You need to go get it treated and you need to go get the biomechanical um, deficiencies you have corrected to make this thing uh, to make this thing go away. And that's going to be your best way to to treat this.